welcome to Renew Life, a daily devotion for you. Our topic today is on trust in full, complete trust in God. You must have faith that God cares for you. Let's read from verse uh, from Psalm 34, verse 10. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Among the cat family, lions are the only social breed, living in large groups called prides. These families of about 15 lions are made up mostly of related females and their youngs. The male lion doesn't hang around long. Within prides, these female lions are affectionate, showing lots of touching, head rubbing, licking, and purring. Hunting mostly at night, the females walk in teams to stalk and ambush their prey, bringing down food for their young. Thus, it is very unusual for a young lion in the pride to go hungry. But even a strong, beloved lion might miss a meal sometimes. As a shepherd boy, David, the author of the sermon, would know that well. He fought off bears and lions, learning their ways and habits in order to protect his sheep. But he also learned the ways of God, in whom David trusted. He learned that with God, he never lacked good things. Courage, skill, wisdom, God provided enough always. Young lions couldn't claim that. As pampered and well-fed as they were, they go hungry sometimes. Their mothers fail to find food sometimes. They had to scramble among themselves to get the best muscle sometimes and this themselves sometimes became food for a bigger enemy but with God as David learned all his needs spiritual physical and emotional were met always hold the joys of those who take refuge in him David sang in his sermon even strong young lions go hungry, but as he declared, those who fear God will have all they need. Let's read Psalm 34, verse 8 and 9. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. In our spiritual imaginations, we can picture David singing these songs composed to celebrate the time he had mastered Abimelech. Perhaps he recall his years shepherding sheep and fending off wild animals. So those lions sometimes went away hungry. David recall, for when he trusts in God, his blessing of grace, love, and power provides for all. The God of the Bible is the kind of God whose greatest delight comes not from making demands but from meeting needs. How do we trust God? You must have faith in Him. Let's read from uh, the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Put your trust in him. You can read Psalm 40, verse 3 and 4. Trust God in hard times, in life struggles. You can read Psalm 9, verse 9 and 10. Isaiah 26, verse 3 and 4. 1 Peter for uh, chapter 5 verse 7 Psalm 56 verse 3 trust God in full let's read 
Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 to 27. Therefore I say unto you, take no thoughts for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body what you shall put on. Is it not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? Following Jesus is more about trust than understanding. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for this devotion. We thank you for this time, Lord. We just pray that we'll be able to trust in you completely, Lord, and so you can meet our needs. Thank you for what you've done for us, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. See you next devotion. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.